How's it going everybody? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing this video lesson and today I've got three more fun and easy riffs for you from the 1980s. Right now Guitar Control is giving away this really cool free chord chart. There's a link down in the description where you can get yours. It's in PDF format and just has every chord that you could ever need all neatly compiled into one sheet. So, uh, so you can download it, you can print it off, put a copy in your gig bag, put a copy where you practice just so at any, any given time whatever chord you might need at a glance and it's a free download. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs, and let's get close up and take a look at these. All right, so the first one to look at is the riff from uh, Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson. So this one's pretty easy. It's all just played on the uh, low E string single notes. So we're going to start off on the fifth fret. We're going to you want to use your third finger. And this is kind of weird because we rest and then we play the first note on the and of four on the first measure. So it's like one, two, three, four, and. And then the downbeat of one of the uh, second measure is a rest. And then, and this is all palm muted too, by the way. So now we're going to, we're here at the, the fifth fret again. And we're going to play four times. So down, up, down, up. And then with your first finger, go back to the third fret, back to the fifth fret. So. Then we move up to the seventh fret. And that's eighth notes. Then we rest. And then we go five, seven again. And that takes care of all of the second measure. Then on the third measure, we move up a half step. So now we're on the eighth fret. And we've got rest, rest, seven, slide to three, and then back to five on the and to four, and then it just repeats. So you got. is uh, I Want to Rock by Twisted Sister. So this one's pretty easy. It just uses a bunch of uh, power chords and then a, a variation of the D chord. So we start off, we've got A5. So I'm just playing the A string open and I got my first finger fretting the second fret of the D and the G string. So we hit this as two quarter notes. One, two, and then we're going to go to a G5. So first finger, third fret of the low E string, and then my third finger is picking up the fifth fret of the A string, and my fourth finger is picking up the fifth fret of the D string. Now if you're a beginner, and this is hard, what's hard a lot of times is to get this note with your pinky here. So if you can't get it, and all you get is the low E and the A string, it's fine, because this note on the D string is just the same note that's on the low E. So like in this case, it's one, five, eight and eight is the same as one so we got a g d and then another g so we hit this starting on the downbeat of three and it's an eighth note and then two sixteenth notes and then a quarter note so one two three four then starting on the second measure we've got a d5 so if you just take your regular D chord that you probably already know, but we just omit the first string. So we're playing the D string open, second fret of the G string with my first finger, third fret of the B string with my third finger, and then the first string is just muted. So I'm just letting my finger kind of hang over it a little bit. And we hit this the same timing that we did, but it's on beat one and two. Then starting on beat three, we have E5. So now I'm barring the second fret of the A and the D string and the low E is open. Three, and then on four, we go back to the G5. So, and then the third measure is the same as the first measure. So it's just the fourth measure that's a little bit different. So, so far we've got. Okay, so that fourth measure is the same as the second measure with the exception of the last two chords. So on the second measure we go the E5 to 
G5. And on this fourth measure, we're going to go E5, but it's E5 up here. So first finger is uh, picking up the seventh fret of the A string. And then my third finger is picking up the uh, ninth fret of the D and G string. Or you could do it like this with your pinky or omit the third string altogether and just play on the A and the D string. So we hit that three. And then on beat four, we come down, we just take this shape and move it all the way down to C5. So first finger's on the third fret, and then we're picking up the fifth fret of the D and or G string. And then that's basically the whole riff, it just repeats. we're going to look at here is a uh, um, riff from Pride in the Name of Love by uh, uh, U2. So this is actually kind of a cool, The Edge, guitar player for U2, The Edge, he, he does a lot of really kind of neat things like this that's just kind of an ambient, you know, it's not really riffs so much as just kind of this ambient sound. I think it sounds really cool. So we start off where uh, you're going to want to put your first finger, you're going to want to uh, bar it basically at the ninth fret on the G and the B string because this whole thing is just on the B and the G string and then we're going to take uh, your pinky and we're going to pick up the uh, 12th fret of the uh, the B string and then with your third finger the 11th fret of the G string so this is easy as it's all 16th notes so we've got one E and a two. And then on the second beat of the two, we're going to, um, we're going to remove our third finger. So now we're, before we were doing 11 and 12, now it's nine and 12. Nine on the G string and 12 on the, uh, the B string. So we start after 11 and 12th fret. And we hit this one E and a two E and a. Then starting on beat three, we're back on the eleventh fret. One E and a. There actually it'd be three E and a four E and a. Like that. So that's the first measure. Now the second measure is exactly the same thing. Then starting on the third measure, now the note on the G string is going to stay here on the ninth fret, but we're going to go to the tenth fret on the B string. And now it's got the same kind of timing. But we're going to be switching between having our second finger on the tenth fret and letting it off. So we're picking up B, the ninth fret on the B and the G string with just your first finger. So that's the third measure. Then on the fourth measure, we're going to put our third finger onto the eleventh fret of the G string, keep our first finger where it is, and now we're going to take our second finger and put it on the tenth fret of the B string. And now we're going to be doing that same rhythm, but the finger that we're we'll going to be raising and lowering is our second finger, so we're going to alternate between the tenth and ninth fret on the B string. <laughs> the whole thing would just repeat. Alright, so there you have it, another installment of fun and easy riffs uh, from the 1980s. 
So if you like this lesson, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this or other guitar related uh, topics. Uh, if you've not already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Well, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.